<coughs> oh man, oh man. Welcome to Bouncy Jelly Gaming. PJG for short. And yes, man. Oh man, oh man. Uh, did I say PJG? I think I did, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Uh, here we are. We're playing some Black Ops 3 zombies. Good old Black Ops 3. Best zombies experience ever made. Hands down. Better than Cold War. I don't care what anyone says. If you guys say Cold War is better than, than Black Ops 3, uh, you guys are probably high. But uh, here, here, here it is, man. This is Black Ops 3 Zombies. Play more Shadows of Evil. Part 4. I mean, Part 3, if I'm not mistaken. All of my Shadows of Evil uh, gameplay. And, uh... But yeah, man, look at this, man. I'm, I'm using uh, the Breaky. Uh, yeah, the breaky, right? Yep, the breaky. And I also built the Apothecary Serpent, which is probably one of the most powerful, powerful, if not the most powerful, most broken wonder weapon in zombies history, hands down. You know, the 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 Apothecary can literally save you from anything. Like if you get um, if you get a corner, just just shoot shoot one in the floor, and you're pretty much safe. You know. The Apothecary is very, very powerful, man. The Apothecary Servant. Oh, man. What a freaking wonder weapon. But, uh... But, yeah, man. As you can see, I'm round 29. And uh, the Apothecary is very random to get, you know. Because when it comes to the parts for the Apothecary, uh, you had you had to be very lucky. Because there's a lot of RNG when it comes to the Apothecary. Because uh, there's one part where you had to kill um, the meatballs or the uh, mosquitoes, you know. And, you know, they randomly, uh, they can randomly, uh, spawn one of the parts. And then the other part is where, uh, I think the other part, uh, you, you can just get it from, from the first mark what you, uh, you kill, which is pretty, pretty easy, you know? It's just, that's literally the first part. And then the other part, the uh, final part is also very RNG because you have to harvest the pots. And the pots are very, very random. Uh, they can actually, uh... Give you the uh the one of the parts where the apothecary berry uh they can give it to you early or they can give it to you very late, and in this gameplay they gave it to me very late like around twenty eight or twenty seven I think, and uh, yeah man it is very random to get the apothecary but once you get it man, uh it is very very fucking uh overpowered man it is very powerful it's a lot of fun to use, um I think the apothecary is even more powerful in uh in uh revelations. Because in Revelations, you can actually upgrade it. Uh, but in Shadows of Evil, you cannot upgrade it. Which, which is kind of sad, man. It's really sad. Um, but, uh, man, the Apothecary is so overpowered. It is very powerful, man. I love it, man. So, such a cool a wonder weapon, man. Very badass, man. Like, it's so sick. But, uh, but yeah, man, look, look, at, look at me. <laughs> I let him break my shield so I can get a fresh one, which... I always do that. I don't know why. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. Look at this. Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 Zombies. Shadows of Evil. One of the top 5, you know, zombie maps of all time. Which, I do agree. Because I have been playing a lot of Shadows of Evil. Uh, very lately. So, uh, I, love, I love this map, man. It's such an incredible map. Um, I also have been playing a lot of the Giant. Because in the Giant, you can level up pretty fast. Uh, because you can just cap it out in the, in the, in the, um, uh, I think in the stairways or some, or somewhere. And you can just get headshots and headshots until, like, round 35-ish. And then once you get, like, to round 35, you have to use the Wonder Wolf, which, uh, which is probably the only savior. I think my highest round in the Giant is probably round 53 or 52, I think. Because, you know, I use the, um... The Wonder Wolf, like round, uh, like a round f uh, forty something, and I camp. Uh, I started using the Wonder Wolf with the um, one of the Gobble Gums. I forgot the name of it. Uh, alchemical Atentis uh, or something. Uh, Atentis or something. I think uh, that's one of the Gobble Gums where you can just get infinite ammo by just shooting the zombies, which is pretty powerful. Uh, and the good thing about the Gobble Gum is that uh, it's one of the classic ones, so they're pretty much free. You don't have to get them from the. Uh, from the uh, you know the liquid dubinium or whatever, so it's pretty nice. But yeah, I might have the giant, uh, some giant, uh, um, some Black Ops Three zombies, the giant gameplay, uh, probably next week or so. Cause I'm enjoying a lot of Black Ops Three. Um, 
But as you can see, uh, I'm just running around. And uh, look at that. Look at look at the apothecary. It is so powerful, man. I, I, I got a cornered. And then I just shot that thing uh, on the floor. And then boom, it just saved me. I don't know. Where, boom, just like with just one shot, you, you pretty much saved. Which is very, very damn good, man. I love it, man. Damn, I love the apothecary. It's so good, man. Um... And uh, look at it, I'm using the dead machine. And uh, I know the dead machine is not that great. It is pretty good, obviously, you know, it's, it's a power up, obviously, but it's okay. I'm just using it just so I can save ammo. Because, you know, that's the good thing about Black Ops 3. Uh, you actually get, uh, I, I don't know why, but I feel like in Black Ops 3, you get power ups more often than in Cold War. Maybe, maybe that's just me. Uh, this one made Black Ops 3 a lot more fun, I don't know. It's weird. And, uh, look at this, man. It's so sick, man. Shooting the meatballs and shooting the zombies. But, yeah, I mean, not gonna lie, man. Call of Duty right now is pretty dry. Um, uh, which is weird because I, I actually do enjoy Call of Duty. But uh, here's the thing, man. I haven't bought Call of Duty for the past two years. You know, I haven't. I didn't. I never bought Modern Warfare 2019, and I never bl bought Black Ops Cold War. And I might buy it later down the line once it has more zombie maps. Because right now, Black Ops Cold War is very lacking. So, you know, I don't know, man. Like right now, Call of Duty is very lacking, man. It is lacking drastically, uh, which which sucks. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um. Even Warzone is kind of lagging also, which is kind of weird, you know. Warzone is like pretty much Activision's baby, you know. It's like the main uh, central thing of Call of Duty nowadays. Um, but it's still, it is also pretty dry, which... And uh, as you can see, I got a down. And I got my... I mean, I'm, 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 I'm going to get my uh, all my perks again because I kind of uh, I kind of choked it, man. I actually did choke it, uh... But, uh, yeah, look at me, I'm just sliding all over, man, I really love the movement system in this game, man, it's so sick, you can just slide multiple times, which is pretty much infinite sprinting if you guys don't think about it, you know, which is very damn good, you know, and I'm running around the map like crazy, um, and I'm going back to the, okay, I'm just, I'm going back, never mind. But, uh, man, the Apothecan is such a clutch, man. It's so clutch. Without without the Apothecan, I will probably be dead, you know? I even have the little Arnies, but I haven't even juiced them, I think, which is kind of weird, you know? I think the little Arnies will benefit me a lot more than the, uh, the, apo uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, the Apothecan because, you know, so I don't have to waste ammo for it, you know? And then look at this, man. I'm actually clutching it. I just need, I just need one more perk, and that's it, man. Oh man, the alternate ammo types in this game were very powerful, man. I really missed them. Uh, they're also in Cold War, but they were they're powerful in Cold War, but they nerfed it re recently, so you know they're not that powerful. And now there you go. I got my stamina, and there you go. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like, subscribe, and as you can see, I clutched it. Um, I, I choked it, but I clutched it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and yeah, man. Take care, and see ya, guys.